everyone, JR here with... Adam Harry. And we have another quick unboxing for you yes, today. Yes, we do. We are taking a look at the heavy crossbowmen for the uh, Dakan Lords for Rune Wars. Yes, I'm actually excited about this expansion. The mm -hmm. heavy crossbowmen, I feel, are going to add uh, something that the Dakan Lords really needed, which was a way to thin the ranks of the enemy at range. Absolutely, because uh, that, is, that is a problem for them right now, but these guys uh, look like they are going to get the job done. Those yep. shields look like they're going to be tough enough to... Take a charge. Yep. So, uh, yeah, and uh, just put that fire down range. So, yeah. Why don't we uh, Why don't we open them up and see how well uh, our theories turn out? We're gonna open these guys up. It's an FFG box, so that means it opens up here at the top. Yeah, I always like that the uh, way they do their Rune Wars boxes because it mm -hmm. they have these weird cardboard things that help them keep shape. It's all neat and self-contained. Yeah. And that's pretty much everything in the box. So yep. move that to the side. We <clears> got uh, some minis. We'll go through those in a second. More minis and more minis. This is why we bought the box. <laughs> and the we go. Oh, oh, and the templates. Uh, all right. <clears throat> These are the bases. You get two, two, uh, two rank two bases rank, yeah, uh, two for trays. the infantry style. Uh, where do you want to start, man? Uh, let's start with their cards. Okay, cool. And I'll get the uh, punch outs and stuff open up. Right on. Here are the cards for the heavy crossbowmen. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in here real quick. Yep. Da, da, da. Cool. All right, so there you can see their uh, point cost. You can see how you would arrange them. You can see the various upgrades that are available to them. Um, these guys are pretty uh, pretty point efficient, it looks like. Uh, let's flip it over and take a look at their stats. Yeah, they're only 1-1. One, one. So they only got one defense and one, one wound per guy. But mm -hmm. they're going to come in a big block, uh, which is what you want for your crossbowmen. However, uh, they have a Ooh. pretty pretty cool, for what they do, they have a yeah. pretty cool ability. Uh, so, first of all, uh, if if you're attacking them at range 1 to range 3, uh, you're, you're, you're adding some extra stuff to your damage. Uh, that's a I think that's a that, panic. That's a panic, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, secondly, while they're defending, you get to subtract one from the damage pool. So they're like... They're actually defense, too. Stealth in, in a defense, way. too, yeah. in a way. Uh, as long as you can... Uh, can roll decently. Yeah. Uh, um, another big thing, too, is they do have uh, two dice for their attack, one red, one blue, for their range attack. And they do have a melee attack of one blue. So they're not, not useless. Not the greatest, but also not useless. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at those cards. Yeah. Here are the upgrade cards real quick. All let's right. do two at a time here. All right. So we've got Column Tactics, uh, which... And Piercing Strike. Column Tactics is always a fun, uh, fun one to have. Your threat is equal to the number of partial and full ranks that you have, and the number of ranks for rerolls is the number of trays in your front rank. Which is pretty saucy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we also have Piercing Strike, which can either be used for a melee attack or a range attack. If the defender, is, that's that's their ability, basically. If the right. defender is at range 1 to 3, you, you may either exhaust this card to reduce the defender's defense by 1 for this attack to a minimum of 2, mm -hmm. or you can discard to add uh, discard this card to add panic. <laughs> as I sneeze. And we're out of panic, which is cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, uh, next up. Next up. We've got... We've got uh, Visored Helms and Cursed Signets. Visored Helms let you uh, uh, increase your defense if these guys haven't gone yet. So if you if you haven't revealed your command tool, uh, you, can, you can exhaust it to, to up your defense by one when they're taking an attack. So if they're going later in the turn... Which could be super useful yep, for a yep, unit yep. that's probably going to be on the receiving end of a lot of charges. Absolutely. Uh, we also have Cursed Signets. When you receive one or more Banes, you instead suffer the number of wounds. Ah. So <clears throat> that's um, an interesting way to, to not take Banes. Yeah. Absolutely. So I guess if you if, if you, you have want, a lot more you have more meat on your bones yeah. <laughs> than you have. Well, like yeah. if, if if you have a, a big old blob of these guys, then absolutely you'd want that so that you you're still like firing at uh, full <coughs> full force. Exactly. And then finally, we've got close quarters targeting, which is a ranged attack that you can perform while uh, engaged. So yeah, so, you can shoot when they get up close. Yeah, uh, pretty pretty great. Uh, also, you shoot it without any. Uh, penalties. So, great yeah. stuff. At, at what you want in a crossbow unit. Pretty much. They're uh, they're pretty durable for what they are, mm -hmm. and uh, they can shoot in close combat. So, yeah, not too bad. Here's up with the uh, the dial. So here we've got um, 
there's your little command tool there and you've got your dials. Uh, it looks like they they don't move the most, uh, but they attack fairly quickly, whichever one they're doing, uh, with their ranged going off on five yeah, their and their attack going on Yeah, four. it's kind of the middle of the turn initiative, but mm -hmm. what's interesting here too is their range attack is yellow, which we don't see very often. Right. So that means when you're doing your range attack, you're pretty much guaranteed one surge, because yeah. your modifier is going to, the only one that matches, aside from the white maneuvers obviously, uh, uh, is your is surge, surge modifier. Yeah. So, so that should help you get off any special abilities, which is super handy. But yeah, they're not cool. super fast in terms of movement mm -hmm. with the March 1 or March 2. Uh, they can still shift and, and move around and, and stuff like and that. all that stuff. But uh, yeah. you, you don't, these guys are like your, your heavy crossbowmen. You yeah. want them to... You want them to surge. You want them to be doing their special attacks. Uh, you want which, them shooting. <laughs> which, as we've seen, is, is pretty great. And you'll be going uh, relatively quick as far as attacking stuff goes. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, we've got your other, your other tokens. These are front and back. Yep. Um... Let's take a look at those minis now. Yeah. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna dump some out on the table here. You get you get eight uh, infantrymen or crossbowmen in total. Uh, let me zoom out a touch here. Sure, sure. So, oh, we also get the the stands and stuff for the the dial. Uh, these, guys these guys are quick. super easy to put together. Um, they use what Adam and I like to call the the lock and key system, where you just sort of plug them in and, uh, plug them in you're, and go. you're ready to go. Yep. And it's just, it's all about matching the, the, the pegs. That's all we're doing here. Uh, like so. Yeah, that guy's done pretty much. Uh, when you're building these guys, I would probably go with some glue, especially if you're going to paint these guys later. Um, that'd be kind of, kind of, kind of good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep, that's that one. I do like that, um... These uh, uh, crossbows. So here, I'll, I'll show you here in a, in a That one actually fits. You can kind of see in the it. shield. Yeah, it fits in the shield, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So like, there's a, there's a little groove there that you can use, and you just sort of slide the crossbow in, and it, it sits there, and you're you're ready to go. Um, and as you can see, we have already assembled the entire unit. Uh, pretty much, we're we're ready to go. Yeah. All we need is to slap some paint on, and uh, it's go time. Got one more guy to build, and we've again done most of this building fairly quickly. Yeah, and here's here's the other two. They're hanging out in their bag, though. Yeah, but you get the idea. They go together super quick. Uh, we yeah. have we've already built six, and that was I don't know a couple minutes. Yeah, the tops. You can you can pop them on a tray and yep. uh, start thinning out the ranks of those pesky Y car or uh, Yelan. <laughs> as they are charging at you like a bunch of suckers. Get those guys. Also, I want to note real fast too, um, the detail on these models are actually pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet. Again, it's a softer plastic. Uh, it's not a hard plastic, but it does happen to keep the detail really well. So What I really like is the detail on the sculpts, like, like so on their shields, right? They've got the one notch up there for holding their crossbow mm -hmm. on. Uh, or for shooting underneath their shield as well. Oh yeah, I didn't catch that. Yeah. That's pretty sneaky. Um, also, the shields themselves are very... Um, you can see the wood pattern. Yeah, they're they're very richly detailed and they're they're thick. Like they, they suggest, hey, I'm a heavy crossbow man. Yeah. You aren't gonna uh, you, you aren't gonna shoot through this shield. Right. So they they actually bring their own cover, which mm -hmm. is pretty neat. Uh, last but not least, we're gonna go through the. Uh, Little instruction manual, real quick. This is this is not anything crazy. Nah, it just tells you how to put everything together, and um, let me fix that. It's a oh, little yeah. overwatched. Oh, wow. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Yeah, but Hold you get on, the idea. Let's fix this in post. Yeah, uh, you get the idea there. You've got your backstory for them, which is neat. You which advances the storyline. Uh, you've got new rules, which will explain Talks their about surge, the surge activity. Yeah, all that good stuff, and their their action dial reference and modifier dial. And reference. then finally on the back. Credits. We've got the credits. Uh, cool times, good stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's the Happy Crossbowmen for the Decon uh, Rude Lords. Pretty cool stuff. I'm Adam Mary from Bowles. I'm JR from Bowles. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.